Devri Hayamim Rishon, 1 Chronicles 15. And David made him houses in the city of David, and prepared a place for the Ark of the El of Elohim, rather, for the Ark of Elohim, and pitched it, rather, and pitched for it a tent. Then David said, None ought to carry at the Ark of Elohim, but the Leviim. For them has Yahweh chosen to carry at the Ark of Elohim, and to minister unto him forever. And David gathered at all Yashadael together to Yerushalayim, to bring up at the Ark of Yahuwah unto his place, which he had prepared for it. And David assembled at the children of Aharan and at the Leviim of the sons of Kohath, Uriel the chief, and his brethren a hundred and twenty, of the sons of Merari, Asayah the chief, and his brethren two hundred and twenty, of the sons of Gersham, Yoel the chief, and his brethren a hundred and thirty, of the sons of Elist Safan, Shimayahu the chief, and his brethren, two hundred. Of the sons of Chevran, Eliel, the chief, and his brethren, fourscore. Of the sons of Uziel, Aminadav, the chief, and his brethren, a hundred and twelve. And David called for Sedach, and Aviathar, the priests, and for the Leviim, for Uriel, Asayah, and Yoel, Shemayahu, and Eliel, and Aminadav, and said unto them, Ye are the chief of the fathers of the Leviim. Sanctify yourselves, both ye and your brethren, that ye may bring up at the ark of Yahuwah Elohai of Yashar'el unto the place that I have prepared for it. For because ye did it not at the first, Yahuwah Eloheinu made a breach upon us, for that we sought him not after the due order. So the priests and the Leviim sanctified themselves to bring up at the ark of Yahuwah Elohai of Yashar'el. And the children of the Leviim bore at the ark of Elohim upon their shoulders, with the staves thereon, as Moshe commanded according to the word of Yahuwah. And David spoke to the chief of the Levim to appoint eth their brethren to be the singers with instruments of music, psalteries and harps and cymbals, sounding by lifting up the voice with joy. So the Levim appointed eth Haman, the son of Yoel, and of his brethren, Echaf, the son of Berachiahu, and of the sons of Marai, their brethren, Ethan, the son of Kusheyahu, and with them their brethren of the second degree, Zakariahu, Bain, and Yaaziel, and Shem'i Ramoth, and Yechiel, and Uni, Eli Av and Bene Yahu and Maase Yahu and Matith Yahu and Elife Lahu and Mechne Yahu and Oved Idam and Yeiel the porters. So the singers Haman, Echaf, and Ethan were appointed to sound with symbols of brass and Zachariahu, and Aziel, and Shemiramoth, and Yahiel, and Uni, and Ile Ev, and Maaseyahu, and Beneyahu, with psalteries on Alamoth, and Matithyahu, and Elifehu, and rather Elifehu, 
and Mikneyahu, and Oved Idam, and Yeiel, and Azez Yahu, with harps on the Sheminith to excel. And Kenan Yahu, chief of the Leviim, was for song. He instructed about the song because he was skillful. And Barach Yahu and El Chana were doorkeepers for the ark. And Shevan Yahu and Yahu Safat and Nathan El and Amasai and Zakar Yahu and Vena Yahu and Eli Ezer, the priests, did blow with the trumpets before the ark of Elohim and Oved Idam and Yahia were doorkeepers for the ark. So David and the elders of Yasher El and the captains over thousands went to bring up Eth the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah out of the house of Oved Idam with joy. And it came to pass when Elohim helped Eth the Levim that bore the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah that they offered seven bullocks and seven rams. And David was clothed with a robe of fine linen. And all the Leviim that bore Eth the Ark and the singers, and Canaan Yahu, the master of the song with the singers. David also had upon him an ephod of linen. Thus all Yashar'el brought up at the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah with shouting and with sound of the shofars and with trumpets and with cymbals, making noise with rather making a noise with psalteries and harps. And it came to pass, as the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah came to the city of David, that Michal, the daughter of Shaul, looking out at a window, saw at King David dancing and playing, and she despised him in her heart.